Welcome back to Fast Tracks. I'm Kevin Matlin. I'm here at the Pinnacle Rally with the organizer of the event. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, thanks, Kev, for having us, buddy. No problem. Appreciate you coming out today. You bet. Tell me a little bit about the rally itself and what, uh, what, uh, why you do it and uh, how it all started. Yeah, you know, I, I had attended a few rallies on my own. I went to um, the Course of America Rally. I've been to the Royal Rally in, uh, in Calgary and a few others. And, and I got to admit, um, while I had a good time, I felt there was a few things missing. And I, and I thought I could build a better mousetrap. And it really just started with um, trying to find like-minded people who um, enjoyed the adventure, um, willing to fly by the seat of their pants, and the cars were really secondary. So what I created was an event where nobody knows where we're going or what we're doing other than me. I tell yeah. people where we start, and that's all they know. I plan out where they eat, where they sleep, where they gas up, where they wash their cars. And we usually plan adventure every day as well. And um, it's, it's just a really good time with a really good group of people. And as you can see from tonight, just an amazing kind of family environment it is. created. So. Very much so. I mean, car people, car culture, it's a family. It is, 100%. It is a family. And it's, and it's a pretty tight-knit one too, right? And yeah. uh, we've got a lot of great people here. And uh, everything running from the sponsors to Rally Alumni. And uh, I'm pretty proud of what we managed to create here Absolutely. in six short years. So. Absolutely. And a lot of organization on yours. You can talk about organizing everything from the dinners to the events, to the way to the gas up. I mean, that's a lot of time. There and energy you put into the rally for yourself. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I mean, it is a lot of work, and you know, looking at Google Maps, trying to figure out the best roads. I mean, I think about every detail from finding gas stations that are on a right-hand exit for a right-hand entry back onto the highway so we don't lose people. Um, you know, every every little detail I try to plan out, I try to create a VIP experience. You know, we've had years where we've got to park on the beach at the, the Soyuz. Um, Last year, sorry, two years ago, we got to park inside the Western Bay Shore. So I'm kind of just creating this vibe of, the, of, of feeling special. And, yeah. and, and, the route, and when you, when you and let me tell you when, you, when you drive in with 10 to 20 cars like this, and yeah. you're driving through the town, um, it's awesome to see. It's awesome to see the looks that you get, but also it's, it's so cool that you're putting smile on people, smile Absolutely. on people's faces, right? And in today's world, honestly, I think that goes uh, that goes along. It does. So. This is your car here. Yeah, you bet. This is a, tell me a little bit about your car. So this is a 2016 McLaren 570S, um, heavily, heavily modified. <laughs> so this thing, uh, I've, I've done turbos, E5, injectors, uh, intercoolers, uh, meth injection. Um, so it's pumping out on E85, 865 the wheels. So just over a thousand crank on a rear wheel drive car. So it's on its second engine. Okay. Um, it's got 146 kilometer, 146,000 kilometers on the Odo. Uh, really? So she gets driven quite a bit, and uh, again, comes down to my love for driving. Yeah. Uh, my love for just hanging out with my friends and doing some really cool things, and uh, that's a testament. The, the miles are a testament. And I don't think there's a better saying, but uh, smiles for miles is a really is a trend. You look around. Absolutely. Like smiles for miles tonight. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you very much for putting on the event. Appreciate um, I appreciate your time. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Yeah. I'm with Colin and Amanda, and they've got an absolutely beautiful Mustang here. Welcome to my channel. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hi. Tell me a little bit about your car and why you're at the rally here today. Uh, car is a 2018 Mustang with a Gen 5 Whipple on it, uh, 12 pounds of boost on a daily driver, and she likes to party a little bit. <laughs> Good. That's a little bit. Uh, Pinnacle Rally, uh, got invited. Uh, from a friend of mine to be a co-pilot two years ago. Didn't have a car, had a race truck, and uh, came out on the rally, and it was such an incredible time. We were coming home from Vancouver, was our, our last stop, yeah. and I was so eager to do a rally, I bought a car pretty much on the way home. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta do this. That's fantastic. <laughs> so so the, the rally goes from Edmonton this year to? Uh, well, our kickoff party this year is in uh, Revelstoke. Uh, normally, we don't know where we start until like this kind of date before the rally because we our kickoff party in Revelstoke is on the sixth. Right. We got moved to Revelstoke because uh, Kelowna got fired out. Yeah. Uh, Arts are with everybody there. Revelstoke will be our kickoff, and uh, we have no idea where we're going from there. Yeah. Rick will give us a text that night, and then uh, wheels up at say eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. At 
Everybody's in the parkade at the hotel, ready to go at quarter to eight. And at 7.55, you got a text message with a pin drop, and then it's go time. Excellent. That's quite the adventure. I love that. I love that. It's great. No, it, you know, uh, the, the best thing about it is not knowing where you're going and yeah. going with the people that you yeah. like to have some fun with. Just fun. And enjoying the time together. Yep. 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 Awesome. Awesome. And you enjoy the rally as well? Oh, yes. You meet a lot yeah. of good people. Good, good. Yeah. So you've done, you did the last one, or did a few, or? Uh, no, I last year was my first year, and I told him that he's never going on one of them again. <laughs> because I had so much fun. Good. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's excellent. And a lot of great cars, a lot of great people. That's mm -hmm. that's what it's yeah. all about, right? Yep. Yep. Excellent. Everybody, okay. all open and warm and welcoming. It's, there's never been any any hassles with anything. Uh, it's great. It's the greatest group of people I've ever had uh, out racing. And like I've done a lot of years yeah. of quarter mile stuff, and this car rally is is amazing. It's fun on the rally too, going through towns and you yeah. just see people with they see a stream of all these cool cars and they're like cheering and like giving everyone this thumbs up. So that's yeah. Really cool. yeah. There's nothing better than a bunch of good car people getting together. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Better. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Get on the chat. Find out who's going what day so you're not driving by yourself. There's a bunch of us leaving on the Saturday, some of us leaving on the Monday, other guys leaving on Wednesday. Get out there, introduce yourselves, make sure everybody knows when you're going, and uh, yeah, don't need to drive by yourself. So yeah, a uh, couple thanks. First, uh, to our friend Omar. Where's Omar DJ tonight? He's on there. Omar's on there. Is that Mr. Omar? Omar is a Pinnacle Rally alum, and he's come back on the rally this year. Thank you for DJing tonight, and your friend. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name, buddy. Don, thanks very much. I'm here at the Pinnacle Rally again with Larry, and he's got a beautiful, beautiful McLaren. Hi, Larry. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. Tell me a little bit about your car and why you're in the rally. Uh, well, it's a 570S Spider uh, convertible uh, McLaren, and I'm in the rally just... When I got the car, and obviously I wanted to drive it, and I got together with this group, so this is uh, would be my fourth year. Fourth year. Fourth year doing it. Yeah. Excellent. So it's a good group, obviously. Yeah. I mean, yeah, car yeah. people, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you, and meeting new friends immediately, and yeah. uh, it's like the, from right from the first rally, still talk to all the all the same people all the time and everything. Excellent. So uh, stay fantastic. close together. Yeah. So. Fantastic. So what's it like driving this car in a rally like that distance? I mean, it's you guys are driving in some pretty expensive exotic cars on quite a distance. What's it like? Uh, it's it's fine. Uh, some of the rallies will trailer our cars uh, to a starting point, mm -hmm. um, say like two, three thousand kilometers. Yeah. Uh, um, so like last year we had, we went to Seattle, uh, shipped it to Abbotsford, mm -hmm. and then got back to Abbotsford, shipped them home, kind of right. thing. So, but besides that, I mean they're comfortable. They make these most of these cars are comfortable. As, yeah. I mean for the amount of driving we do in a day, because uh, usually just do a stop, do an activity, and all that kind of stuff. So it's yeah. not like eight hours of being through driving. I guess, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. And it's not like driving an 80s Ferrari or something. No. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not the same thing. Yeah. These are pretty luxurious cars <laughs> now. Yeah. yeah. And the McLaren, I mean, th this car is, that's a pretty unique car. Yeah. It's got a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all custom. Uh, it's all the orange inside. You won't see that on any other car. It's all black. Yeah. Um, yeah so, uh, even the keys are orange. There's a lot of detail into the design on this one. Anything that you've done to the car at this point? Or no, it's, it's all, all factory, you got the titanium exhaust, all that. Like, yeah, don't need to mess with it. It's perfect the way When they've it engineered is. it with as perfect as they have, you don't, you don't mess with perfection, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Larry, and yeah, yeah. Uh, congratulations, or uh, good luck in the rally. Yeah, right on. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. For all you guys who've never been on the rally before, what can you expect? When I think about the rally, I think about friendship, camaraderie, adventure. Uh, all things that you can expect on the rally. Uh. Got Scott with me, and he's got a beautiful Audi. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about your car and uh, why you're doing the rally, or are you doing the rally? Uh, this year, no work yeah. schedule doesn't allow me to, but just guilty, guilty by association. So just good friends with the guy that runs it, which is Rick Murdy. Yeah. I believe this is his fourth or fifth year of it. Um, sorry, I think this is his fifth year of it, running it. Just good people, good times, and just making memories. Absolutely. And just getting uh, the car community together up in Edmonton and yeah. anybody else associated with it. Um, for this, it's a 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus in Nardo Grey. Um, still sports the same 5.2 liter V10. Uh, same, or sorry, shared with the Huracan. Mm -hmm. Same driveline as a Huracan 610-4 for the most part. A couple little changes here and there, mm -hmm. but it's it's been great. Owned it for a couple years now, yeah. and yeah. Absolutely. What's it like to drive a car like this? Now, 
in the city like Edmonton with our with our roads, it's obviously not easy to drive a car like that on these roads. No, um, honestly though, that's after having the opportunity to drive a Huracan, a couple friends when I was in the market gave me their Huracan as well as an R8. This is a Gen 2 because it's a 2016 or newer. Mm -hmm. So just overall fit, finish, room, and just everything it needed. That's why I chose the R8 over the Huracan. Both yeah. amazing cars. The Huracan was just, uh, the front end is a little lower, a couple little things, so just driving and user friendly. Mm -hmm. And that's why I chose the R8. It's more comfortable, mm -hmm. they're a little bit more room, and it's honestly, call it a Honda of the supercar world. You can Absolutely. hop in, hop out, daily drive it. Like I daily drive it. There's yeah. no quirks, I don't bottom out. It's just fill up and go. Just fun. Yeah, absolutely. All around fun. Make, it's visceral, makes the sounds that you like. So yeah. it's it's a good time, gets people going. Any custom modifications or is it all pretty well stock? Uh, as it sits right now, I haven't really done anything. I just uh, did full PPF, mm -hmm. tint, ceramic coat. The only add-on that's not factory is the carbon fiber gas lid cover. Right. Just to match because from factory it comes as aluminum. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't match the color scheme. <laughs> Overall hoping if everything plays out, I should have this twin turbo actually next year. Like Fantastic. Her, her spring, so Fantastic. I'm hoping that plays out. That'd be great. Yeah, like um, the other gentleman, if you might have spoke with him with the red Huracan, yep. his is supercharged. Simon yes. is our other buddy, he helped put the supercharger on his. Just awesome, reliable cars. You can sit there and make huge power yeah. companies, even with the tur twin turbo setups on the state side will give you a two year 24,000 mile warranty even really? at 15, 000, or sorry, 1500 horsepower at the wheels. Yeah. So the drive lines hold just great reliability, just over overbuilt cars. They're just, they're great. Even it's not hard or not even just with these, but for most part, once you get into the cars, just it's not even the reliability for yeah. some of them. They just driving just what they do, modern day tech. It's, you can, it's not like, early 2000s with say the yeah. 360s and not trying to pick on Ferrari because no, they build phenomenal cars yeah. but you can daily drive it yeah. with this get Audi care they yeah. it's 500 and it's about 550 dollars a year for maintenance which wow. isn't that's nothing nothing crazy tires are still the same for almost any other platform mm -hmm. if you were driving a truck before costs yeah. are about the same so it's not like sticker shock it's just unfortunately the cost of entry or right cost of admission of course but it gets decent mileage which nobody really for an cares, exotic car yeah you, you can't Fantastic. complain so yeah. let's get in started and go just yeah. have some fun excellent well thank you so much for talking about your car i appreciate it no problem have a great day you too um for, again um, to the support team they uh, they carry anything from excess luggage fuel uh, water, uh, emergency first aid, uh, carry wives that had uh, no more speed in them or a husband that drank too much the night before. So uh, thanks again to the support team. I've got Charm here with me. Thank you for being on my channel. Tell me a little bit about your car and why you're in the rally. Oh, well, thank you for asking. Well, I have an 18 BMW M4 competition and it's one of 30 in the world because I have a uh, Rolls Royce purple silk metallic paint with uh, Opal Marino uh, interior. So it's a pretty special car to me. I love it. And I'm here at the Pinnacle Rally because I've been on the rally several times and love going everywhere with my friends and doing car things. It's awesome. Yeah. awesome. Anything special in the car other than the paint? Have you done anything to it yourself? Well, let's see. I've got Project Gamma front mount intakes. I have a DME tune out of New Jersey, so it's doing, you know, over 500 to the wheels. Wow. Um, I have some other little gadgets under the hood, nothing too extreme. Jammers on the front, which is uh, fun, so I get no tickets. And, um, <laughs> you know, titanium exhaust, which is pretty pricey. Yeah. And it sounds pretty good. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on my channel. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome, you guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. What a wonderful evening. Again, everybody, please shake your hands for Rick. Thank you. The, uh, the memories you make on the Pinnacle Rally are something to keep for a lifetime. And uh, it would be possible with Rick. So everybody, please have a wonderful evening tonight. Enjoy the beverages. Enjoy the food. Uh, let's not forget, it's also Mr. Colin Gotcha's birthday tonight. Uh, if you're at the rally, you're no longer 
friends you just found me. So thanks again, everybody. Please, if you had too much to drink, we'll find you a ride home. Everybody, please have a wonderful evening. I'll kick it back to Rick. And again, thanks for everything, you guys. And we'll see you next Wednesday in Rebel Stoke. Woo! I'm here with Navi at the Pinnacle Rally. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your, you and your car and why you're doing a rally. Well, this actually might not be the car I'm bringing. The ah. car I'm bringing is actually a McLaren 720, which is doing McLaren things, and it's kind of broken right now. But it might be ready for the rally. This, though, this thing is a workhorse. This thing never breaks down. It's a beast. This car I've had since new 2015. Mm -hmm. It's a LP 610-4 Huracan. It's supercharged, uh, one of the, the very first ESS supercharged Huracan. It's got about 900 horsepower. Um, this car has been my baby. I love it. I, 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 I love driving it. I love it actually more than the McLaren, although the McLaren is with the tune and all the, all the extras that I've done is, is a little bit faster. Uh, and it's got more room. So that's <laughs> the rally car. Although yeah. I, the very first two rallies I took, no, the first rally I took this car. Yeah. And it was awesome. It was awesome. Excellent. Yeah. So what's it like being in a rally in a car like this? I mean, oh, these, these, my these God. are pretty exotic cars. Amazing. So the first rally was awesome. We were going through the mountains, uh, going through twisty turns, straightaways, doing events. This car was just gone. Just yeah. gone. It was it, it was it was awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And you've done how many events now? I this will be well. I was on the first two, yeah. And then there's two after that that I had to miss for whatever reason, various mm -hmm. reasons. And now this one I'm back. So you've done three now. This is going to be number three. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Are yeah. you going alone? Or are you taking somebody with you? Well, I'm taking my girlfriend. Uh, Good. She's not here today, but yeah. yeah. Excellent. So yeah. it's, it's an event and it's bonding time. Yeah. The, f the first time I went alone, the second yeah. time I went with my brother. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. My brother and I, it was actually the best time with my brother. And yeah. now this time I'm going to take the girlfriend. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being on my channel and well, talking. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. You too. Thanks. <laughs> so we're in the first, okay?